Hey Libra, it's Zahara Stars with the Loom Astrology and Tarot doing your mid-month March 2021 update reading. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm sorry I'm a little late. I was supposed to do this on the 15th and now it's the 16th. Anyway, oops. Holy smokes, calm down. Let me just... Woosa. All right, so let's take a look at mid-month March 2021. Those of you that are new, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. If you find the reading helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get notified of my uploads as they come because after this, I'm doing a mid-month love reading update that will um, cover the person of interest and for those of you that are single and looking. Okay, Libra. So this is your mid-month update for Libras to see what's going on. It's going to be a little bit shorter than the overall month if you didn't check out the overall month for your love reading and also for the... Uh, overall month, just general energy. Check that one out, okay? I love you guys. I hope you're doing well. Let's see what we got for Libras. Please give me the most accurate messages. First off, I'm just going to tell you, you guys are going through a transformation the second half of this month. This can sometimes be something that you're a little caught off guard by, something that happens and catapults this transformation. But I feel like a lot of you are just going through a transformation. You've been You've been going through one, okay? And it's kind of reaching its peak now. We're the middle of this month, starting now through the end of the month. And for some of you, it might be a little bit longer. There's something transforming in your life. Your, your expectations are changing. Your life is changing. You're making big changes. Um, you're seeing things differently. You are really going through a big life change here. And it's really gonna start setting in. A lot of you are downloading new information. A lot of you are really kind of just making some life changes, okay? We're gonna find out more, Libra. Wow. What else do we have for, look at these cards just flying out for you guys. What's up with that? Uh-oh, trapped in fear. What are you afraid of? Some of you guys are feeling a little trapped in fear here. You may be feeling a little insecure, a little bit blocked off, kind of like you want to lock yourself up in your room. <laughs> Some of you are afraid to make a move to do something. You got some critical energy around you. What's going on, Libra? Some of you have something that you're afraid to address, to go about. You're kind of just feeling, you're worried about something. It is an eight card about personal power, also about finances. I'm feeling like some of you have some worries going on and you're kind of feeling a little bit closed off, okay? There's a major transformation happening here though, okay? And some of you are just feeling like you're kind of just not your normal self here. You're, there's something that's bothering you. Let's take a look. What is this about for Libra? Mm. I'm going with these. Yeah, you got some mental conflict. Something's definitely on your mind here. Definitely got something on your mind here. You're struggling with something. It's a two card, which could be about your finances, your resources, your value system, what it is that you really want. Some of you, this is the second half, okay, of this month. So we're looking at from now until the end of the month. You've been feeling like you want to block yourself off, maybe not as open as you've been. Maybe you've been feeling like there's been some financial things on your mind. You got something on your mind, definitely, that you've been, that's you've that been causing you some mental conflict, okay? And some of you have something that you want to say or do and you just haven't been. And some of you are just really worried about something here, okay? Now, there's some decisions coming up here that you got to be very wise about your choice, okay? Choose wisely isn't always easy. Trust your intuition on this, okay? Because your intuition won't guide you wrong unless you're seeing through the wrong perspective. You wanna be careful not to be uh, vi viewing things negatively, but you also wanna be wise. You wanna be wise as a snake and meek as a dove. You wanna just be cool and calm, but make these decisions from a clear head, a rational head. Ask yourself, would I be acting this way if I wasn't, you know, would I be 
doubting this if there wasn't valid reasons, you know, just kind of be cautious because there's going to be some choices coming up. Some of you, it's in the seventh house of partnership, your house, relationships, partnerships, choices, and options. You want to be wise about the choices that you make. Now, I see some of you moving on from something, leaving something behind, leaving something in the past. Perhaps you're just moving on from something just in general, but you're just going, you know, that's not working for me. I'm moving on. Okay. And you got some choices to make, but there is some positive movement that's going to come through here for you guys. Okay. And it is in terms of deep intimacy, uh, positive movement forward in terms of your finances, your career, you know, but there's something that I feel some blocking energy, a little bit of blocking energy that might be concerning you because you're worried about something here. You're definitely worried about something here. Okay. And I feel a little bit of, yeah, there's, there's a transformation occurring, but I'm trying to get this energy and it's really kind of interesting. You know, what I'm going to do is clarify with my vice versa tarot deck. I love this deck. It's totally awesome. All right, let's take a look at Libra's situation here. Can you clarify this trapped in fear? Some of you are just feeling kind of like, okay, remember these are general readings, so you're not, not all experiencing the same exact thing. It's just not going to be possible. But I do feel like some of you are having like brain freeze. <laughs> like you just feel like you just can't, you just feel like you can't make a decision. You can't think clearly, something like that. But I also feel like some of you have some financial worries and some of you are concerned or feeling like you're not really sure you're feeling a little insecure about something and there's definitely uh it's going to be different for all of you because you all are not experiencing exactly the same thing because you're a libra remember listen to your rising sign or your moon sign as well because those the rising sign has a lot um a lot to it that's going to resonate with you if you know your rising sign okay along with your sun sign but there's something that's been conflicting you. So let's take a look. Libra, mid-month, March 2021. What is this trapped in fear about? It's about making a decision about something. See, we have you trying to make a decision here, trying to take some action. We got two nights of taking action moving forward. Maybe you got two choices you got to make and it's just, you just don't know what to do, but you got to make a decision with regards to this. Okay. You got to take some kind of action. This being trapped in fear thing is going to do nothing for you. Okay. It's no good. You don't want to be trapped in fear. You should not be afraid of anything. You should have no fear. You should be no fear. Okay. Fear doesn't do anything but hold you back from making decisions. <laughs> it doesn't do anything about the situation, right? So, get yourself out of that trapped in fear situation, okay? Because there's nothing to be afraid of. You just got to take action. And it just suddenly, fearless action with fearless action will get rid of the situation. Because that's what I got. I got two action cards in order for you to have a breakthrough from this particular situation. These are both Aries cards or taking action, just moving in any direction, okay? Communicating, seeking the truth, going after it, having a breakthrough. That's how you're going to get out of that trapped in fear situation. You need to take some action, okay? So let's check out this mental conflict. What's been bothering Libra? And what's the solution for this mental conflict for Libras? Like I said, some of you, it's money. Some of you, it's acquisition. Some of you, it's something that has to do with, you're just, you're, you're mentally conflicted about something, okay? Some of you had some sharp words with somebody. You felt defeated, got cut down. Some of you have been a little sharp with your words, a little defensive, blocked off. 
okay? You need to, again, we're getting this whole mental conflict thing. You've been dealing with somebody that either cut you down, blocked you off, or something that's causing you some stress, or you've been kind of feeling like this yourself, and it's been mental conflict on your mind, or you're going to the second half of this month. But I do see you looking at what really matters to you and really wanting to find out what really matters to you and just take, make some movement, communicate, communicate, get out and stuff. But just don't be sharp with your words, okay? And don't be blocked off. Some of you have been through some stuff here, okay? This is the card of gone through it, <laughs> being blocked off, protecting your territory, standing up for yourself. This is sharp words, cutting down. You're either the person that's doing the cutting down and that person's defeated or you're the one that's defeated and somebody cut you down. It's usually sharp words, cutting somebody out, harsh things. So whatever the situation was, it's been causing you some mental conflict here. Okay. So in order to get out of that, you need to communicate about the situation. You need to see about what matters to you and you need to communicate about that situation or try to find the solution to that situation, but don't let it Keep you trapped in fear and don't let it eat away at your brain like haunting you to death. Take some action or let it go because we do have you moving on, okay? So some of you are moving on for something and then if you do that, you're going to have positive movement forward. But if you stay trapped in fear and trapped in your mental anguish, it's going to get you nowhere. It does nothing for the situation. <laughs> Zero. Now let's check out this choose wisely. It could be regarding a few different situations. So let's check out what this choose wisely is about for Libra. Choosing wisely is always a good thing to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to make the wrong choice. Then that just brings you back to the whole mental anguish. <laughs> I made the wrong choice. <laughs> okay. Let's check out this Choose Wisely for Libras. Mid-month, March 2021. I just did that, but just go with my feelings here. It's decisions regarding some people here. All right, so you got to choose wisely regarding a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, sun, moon, or rising, or this could be you if you have your rising or your moon sign in a fire sign. We also got a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, sun, moon, or rising sign. You have to know their birth time to know the rising sign, okay? So we have a fire sign and a water sign. One of these people is going to offer you collaboration, working together well, building something together, doing something good, okay? That has a lot of hope and happiness. It's a wish fulfillment. Okay. You got to take a leap of faith on one of these here or just let go of your baggage and move forward. Okay. But you got two choices here. I don't know who these people are. It's a water sign and a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. So they could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with a Leo rising. Could be a, a um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Well, this is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sorry. It could be a um, uh, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with a water sign rising or a moon and water. You know what I mean? You got to know the birth time. So these are general readings. There's a lot of you, but you got two people that you got to choose wisely on here right now. Okay. To make the right choice that of the person that's going to work with you, collaborate with you. This could be a coworker. It could be a new job. It could be a love interest. It could be anything, but this is about working together towards something, a common goal. Um, but collaboration, working together, okay? And taking a risk and going for it, but not foolishly to where you walk off the cliff, okay? This is about dropping baggage because it's got a little light bag here, so you gotta make the right decision in doing that, but take a risk in doing it. One of them's gonna lead you to happiness and fulfillment, so you're being asked to choose wisely, and I can't tell you which one to do because you gotta trust your intuition. There is this moving on card here. So something that's not working for you, you're moving on from. There's going to be positive movement forward uh, coming in here. 
So let's check out this. You're leaving something behind and moving on. Some of you are literally moving. Some of you are moving on from something that was stressing you out or it's just time. Or you just not, just don't want it. You're just moving on. <laughs> Whatever it is. It's going to be different for all of you. I mean, these are general. There's a lot of you, right? It can't all be the same. But we're going to take a look. Somebody that you're interested in, you offered some love to, or you're trying to look for the property real estate, the best possible real estate. <laughs> the best possible real estate, who to invest in? Who are you going to invest your time, your efforts into, right? In terms of love and who you're going to offer your love to, and you feel like you really don't know, you're kind of trapped in your own head. This is being feeling like you're trapped, but you're not really. Because if you look, everything's kind of lightly loose. You can kind of get out of there. This, the swords are not impossible to get out of. But it's about being trapped in your head about who to invest in. About whether or not to invest and whether or not to offer your love or to move on. All right. So that's a decision a lot of us have to make at time to time. <laughs> Uh, and then you got positive movement forward. So it looks like after you make all these decisions, you get tra out of your trapped in fear and you deal with the situation of where somebody got cut down or you did or you had sharp words with somebody or fight or argument that's been causing you mental conflict. Could be all the same situation. But this positive movement forward looks like it's going to be regarding money. Starting a new business endeavor or focusing on your money. Start of a new budding idea or something solid starting. But it's not really big. It's kind of small. Focusing on your money. You're going to be making some positive movement towards your money, your investments, and stuff like that. That's what I see because this is about starting, investing in something new. This is a budding of something. It's new. It's a beginning. You're going to see some positive movement in that area. All right. So let's get you an oracle card and see. Oops, my bracelet just snapped off let's get an oracle card for you guys what do we have message for libra sun moon or rising for mid-month march 2021 words of advice that would be helpful for them There's some sort of transformation happening with you guys though, okay? Because this card is really powerful in the deck. It is about endings, beginnings, and transformation happening deep within you, just in general. So get out of that trapped in fear, get out of the negativity, choose wisely. Some of you are deciding on whether or not to, some of you are looking at where you wanna invest your love, your heart, your time. Feeling a little trapped here, not knowing what to do. Some of you are moving on from something or trying to, but you do have positive movement coming up here. Just don't stay trapped in fear, okay, Libras? It doesn't do you any good. And whatever that situation was, that was sharp words or cut down or feeling defeated or anything like that, okay? Um, take some action, communicate. You don't want to stay mental conflict or trapped. Action solves that. All right, Libra, what do we have? Leadership, Libra. This is always an awesome card. I love this card. It says, set your goals. And what, what do you want? What do you want to really happen? What do you want in your life? See it, visualize it, manifest it, set your goals. When you have goals of what you want, you're going to get them, okay? Because you have that goal. You have that, that vision. Epiphany. Seek clarity. See, that's what I think. There's some sort of situation that's causing you mental conflict here, okay? 
and it was regarding something where somebody was cut out. It was, you know, whatever this is here. And also the trapped in fear, okay? Seek clarity. There's gonna be some kind of epiphany that's gonna to come to you and tell you like, you know, pay attention to that, okay? So set your goals. Seek clarity on the situation that's been causing you mental conflict. Ask questions, communicate, whatever you gotta do. You can't stay there, okay? Wow, new beginnings, rising as the phoenix out of the ashes. There's no stronger, there is nothing more bad arse than the phoenix, okay? Phoenix is Pluto's card, it's Scorpio's card, and let me tell you about this. Scorpio has it the toughest, right? Because it's ruled by the god of hell. <laughs> And it's, it's when you actually rise above tribulation, hardships, abuses, terrible situations, awful situations, and you don't become the abuser. You rise above and become the healer to help others that went through these situations. And that's the only way you rise as the phoenix. So whatever you've been through, the only way you can rise as the phoenix is not become part of what you've been through, but to become part of the solution. And that's how you rise as the phoenix. This means that there's new beginnings. Those of you that have been through these difficulties, tragedies, hardships, all this stuff, this transformation is occurring for you guys, and it's a big one, and there's a new beginning for you to do things differently and better than you ever have, so it's very important that you make the right decisions right now with this new beginning, and you don't carry a lot of the crap from the past that wasn't working for you, that was toxic, that was unhealthy, whatever it was. Um, set your new goals. You can have your new life the way you want it. You just got to set your goals, okay? Set your goals. Visualize it. Get out of this situation. Make decisions. Make decisions. Don't stay here. Make decisions. You're rising as the phoenix now. You're starting new. You're powerful. You can do it. Wow. What a reading, Libra. So this is your mid-month. I will be doing a... Um, love reading for those of you because i know you guys love those about what your person of interest is thinking what they want what they're thinking um they're general so they won't resonate with all of you but always check your rising or your moon sign as well because your messages could be there instead all right so if you're interested in um that reading that will be coming up next if you haven't subscribed please do but click the bell to get notified so that way you can get notified when I upload that reading and you'll be able to view it then. All right, Libras, I'm sending you guys positive energy for all the best. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.